Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a thrift haul. I mentioned in a few videos back that I had planned a thrift haul and I had a ton of stuff to show you guys. So I'm finally filming it and this is all of the stuff I got since my last thrift haul. I know a lot of you guys like these thrift hauls and there's a really awesome thing I found in this one. I feel like every time I have like that one item that I'm really like the most excited for. And this one, I have quite a few good items, but there's one item that I'm just really excited for. So I'm going to save that one until a little bit later in the video, but... I think you guys are going to like a lot of this stuff. So, the first item is this cup. <laughs> and they are these dark, smoky glass cups. Um, they come in the tall size and the short size. I got four tall ones, four short ones, except for I just broke one of my short ones and I'm really, really sad about it. Um, but I think they're so cute. You guys know I like these darker colors and I love how they kind of have almost like a slight amber quality to them, which is pretty cool. So I'm really, really excited about these and I just love finding cool glassware, cool dishware. And these were like just screaming my name. So I had to buy them. So that is the first thing. So the next item that I picked up was something I found that was like exactly like my style as far as like decor goes. And I almost didn't pick this up because I was like, ugh, I don't think I need that. But then I found the perfect place for it that works so well in my house. I have like this tall little area next to my TV and I never know what to put in there because it's like this tall skinny shelf. And this fits perfectly in there and it was like the perfect thing to buy. And it kind of has mid-century modern vibes. So it's this tall candle holder and I have this like fake candle inside where you can like set it on a timer or whatever. But I think it's so pretty. It has like a little glass vase on the inside. Um, this actually still has the tag on it. It was $4.99. So I feel like that's a pretty good deal for like this big giant candle glass holder. Um, I was kind of wishing there was another one, maybe like a smaller size one, but there was only this one big size. But I still think it's really, really pretty. So the next two things that I picked up were actually for like candle making. You guys know I always buy like candle holders for my candle making and I found these two beautiful candle holders and I used one actually for my TBR jar if you guys watched my last video but they are these beautiful glass jars with this gold kind of glitter detail on them and I love these so much I think these are gonna make the most beautiful like candles I'll probably keep this one for my TBR jar or whatever and it has this really pretty gold rim and it kind of has like glitter and it's just so pretty. So I really, really love these. And I find holders, like candle holders, a lot at Goodwill. They always have like these random jars for some reason in my Goodwill. And I always find amazing candle holders. So these are really, really great. And I feel like you could use these for brushes, like brush holders or pencil holder, whatever. Like I feel like these kinds of things are always really fun to buy because you know that you're going to use them no matter what. Like I always need holders for things, you know what I mean? So, so the next two things I picked up were actually from my other thrift store. So this one isn't from the Goodwill. This is from the one that has like antiques and I love the antique rooms because they tend to have some really really cool and unique stuff in there and I found both of these things in that thrift store and I found this amazing old painting book and I thought this would be so cool to like tear out some of the stuff inside and use them as artwork because when you guys see these you're gonna think they're so cool so this is how to paint exotic butterflies and moths and you can tell this is really really old like it looks like it's from like the 60s maybe or 70s and it is like a vintage style like all the paintings inside this is the back and this is the coolest book. They had so many different like versions of this book, like different art books. And this one was obviously the coolest because I just liked, you know, what was inside. But a lot of the pages are just black and white. So here's a cool page. These butterflies on here are really, really pretty. And they just have that vintage quality, which I really think is cool. And the other one that I really think is cool is this black and white one right here. Because I love just like black and white simple pictures and I feel like this will look really really cool in like a gold frame. It's just such an awesome picture. Like I can totally picture that on my wall. Like this one right here, I love this like really blue backdrop. It's so like eye-catching. This is not something I would normally look at in a thrift store. Like I would see these like books sitting there and I'd be like oh cool and then I'd just like walk by them you know. But I decided to look in them and I was like this is the coolest thing because there's so many things that I could do with these paintings in here. Isn't that neat? And then they just have like tutorials on like how to paint and draw butterflies. That's kind of like what the point of the book is, but 
super cool right so I'm really excited about this and I can't wait to like find a cool frame to put some of this stuff in I really want to do the black and white butterfly page really amazing find if you see these little books at like your local thrift store look in them because there's a lot of cool stuff in them so and then at that same thrift store I picked up this little gold frame I don't really know what I'm gonna put in this yet but I really liked the frame I thought it was really pretty and there's nothing in it which was cool um, I like that it's really tall and skinny so it can fit in like a skinnier place on my wall and take up a lot of like length on it so I really like that about it but I don't really know what I'm gonna put in it yet so the next thing I picked up was actually something that I've been needing for a really long time and I think that my mom has this exact same one which is really funny so whenever I go to like parties and stuff like Christmas Eve parties or whatever I always bring deviled eggs because they just always go over well and I'm just really good at making them <laughs> and I needed something to carry my deviled eggs on because I was just putting them in like a casserole dish because I didn't have anything to serve my deviled eggs on and when I brought my deviled eggs to my mom's house she's like oh I have a deviled egg holder and she pulled out this really pretty glass deviled egg holder and I like set them all out and I was like gosh I need one of these and then I went to the thrift store and guess what I found at the thrift store a deviled egg holder and it is the cutest little like vintage looking deviled egg holder and you just put them like all around like a little flower and then you can like fill up the middle with deviled eggs and now I have a platter that I can bring my deviled eggs on every time I go somewhere so really really excited about this and I'm pretty sure this is like an antique piece so that's pretty cool but so the next thing is kind of a decor piece but also not really a decor piece because I do plan on reading this and also by the way I do plan on making another video for my thrifted books because now that this is kind of like a book channel, I want to do a thrifted books video separately. And this is a book, but it's also kind of a decor piece as well. Um, but I was actually reading this in the store, in Goodwill, and I was really interested in it. But it's this cute little vintage book. Don't you love this spine? It is so pretty. Oh my god, I love it. Um, but it's The Speculative Philosophers, The World's Great Thinkers. And I just think that this is so flippin' adorable. And I love philosophy. I've talked about that before. And so I love just kind of like reading different philosophers and different ideas. And this has some really fun, interesting things to read in here. And like I said, I was reading it in the store. And I was like, well, if I'm reading it here, then I might as well bring it home and read it at home. So I'm just going to put this on my shelf in my living room. And when I feel like reading some philosophy, I can pull it down and just kind of flip through and read some things. So really cute. And I just can't get over the adorable spine. So love it. So I found a couple things for my daughters. And the first one is these Adidas sweatpants for Emery. So my girls always need sweats for like sleeping and lounging and I thought these Adidas sweatpants were adorable um just cute little like pajama pants you know basic um but they're always really nice to have for like camping or just lounging around the house so love these I think they're so cute and they were pretty cheap and they're in really really good condition so I couldn't pass them up because like I said we always need some good sweats and these are Emery size so and then, this is kind of dirty because Emery wears it a lot, but this is an amazing um, Columbia fleece, which is super, super cute. I love Columbia fleeces, and they're just really, really good quality. And for, like, camping and going to the beach and stuff, it's always nice to just have these really lightweight but warm, like, zip-up sweatshirts. And she loves fleece. Emery only wears, she doesn't like wearing really big puffy jackets and coats. She just feels really uncomfortable in them, so I always have to find her more lightweight but warm jackets to wear in the winter. And she always wears this one Eddie Bauer one every single day, and sometimes I have to wash that one. So I feel like this is a really good one to like, you know, switch out with the other one. And she really, really loves this. She loves the color. And you can't go wrong with a cute little Columbia. Then I was really excited for this next thing because I feel like I always see flower pots at Goodwill, but they're never that great. Like a lot of times they don't have a drainage hole or they're like those little flower pots that they put those orchids in at the store that don't have the drainage holes and people like get an orchid and then the orchid dies and they just like donate that little pot that it comes in. And I feel like it's a lot of those types of flower pots, but it's really rare to find nice ones that you can actually use, at least at my Goodwill. But I found this one and I was like, wow like I could buy that literally at Lowe's right now and it is this one I already put a flower in it <laughs> but it's this amazing gold and kind of cream colored one and it even has a little plate that's like hooked on so it has drainage which is amazing and this these are like really really nice this was five dollars and I mean I feel like I could get this at 
lows for probably like 12 13 14 15 dollars so i feel like i got a pretty good deal on it and i actually have one that kind of matches this which is kind of funny but i feel like this was like a really good find like who donates this then for my favorite thing of all you guys be ready for a spiel i swear everybody needs this spiel it's like a hack i feel like so when I had Elena and Emery, I had diaper bags, but I got rid of the diaper bags because my diaper bags honestly weren't that great. I got like these really dumb, cheap diaper bags. Like I feel like the times have changed since when I had babies versus now. Like diaper bags were not the same when I had kids. They just weren't. Um, but the diaper bags are so much cuter now. And I saw this girl say that she uses diaper bags for traveling. So for like airplane rides and stuff, her carry-on bag is a diaper bag. So like the bag that you put under the seat in front of you and you put all your stuff in it. She uses a diaper bag. And she goes, it's the best thing to use for your carry-on bag on airplanes because there's so many compartments. They're really organizable. They're big and they're usually pretty structured. And so I was like, you know what? I need a diaper bag. And so I was kind of on this hunt for like a really, really sleek looking diaper bag that I could use as like my carry-on bag. And I found one and I'm so excited about it because I'm like, this is perfect, perfect. So it looks like this and it is like a, um, what do you call it, quilted fabric and it has this flap here so it is so spacious, like I could put a sweatshirt in here, I could put a neck pillow in here, I could put so much stuff in here, it would fit an iPad, it would fit a book, like so many things and it sits so like it can just sit in the, like under the seat in front of me so it's not just gonna like flop over, like do you know how many times? my carry-on bags just like flop over and I can't find anything inside of them because it's just like a black void of fabric and you're just like trying to dig around inside. This is actually structured and like really open so you can just like see inside. It's amazing. And not only that, you have two pucks on the sides for like a water bottle or whatever. And then there's like a bunch of pockets on the inside because like I said, it's a diaper bag so you have to like stay somewhat organized. And look at this you guys. So. You can hold it like this if you want, so you can hold it, you know, with your hand, or you can hold it like this, see, or like this, so this strap is the one that you can put over, but you pull it down, so they're like straps, like backpack straps, and you can wear it like a backpack. So when you're walking through the airport, you can just wear it on your back while you're pulling your luggage, and it's so handy, but then if you don't want to wear it on your back, you just go like that, and you can wear it on your shoulder. See? Is that not adorable? We're actually going to Hawaii in next month and I am so excited to go there simply so I can carry my new airplane travel bag. Like I am such a dork. I feel like you get to a certain age where you care way too much about your carry-on airplane bag. Like I remember my mom used to be really obsessed with her carry-on airplane bag and I was always like it's just a bag but she was always obsessed with finding the perfect one and I was always like, mom, you're weird. But now I'm at the age where I want a perfect airplane travel bag. That is it for this video. Like I said, I'm gonna do a whole video on my um, current thrifted books. But I think that is it, guys. I've been writing everything down that I've been getting at the thrift store so I could film this video and I've been really, really good about it. So that's why I was so prepared for this video. Oh, I forgot to do these ones. I just saw these sitting on my windowsill and I was like, hey, why didn't I write this down? So I got these. Look at these little candle holders. They're these um, wood, what, what is this, like wicker, wood, um, wrapped candle holders. They have the gold, you know, holder right there, and they're matching. Put little dripless candles in there. Are these cute? I'm a candlestick hoarder now. Like, every time I see candlestick holders, like, I want to buy them, and I will buy them. I have, like, three or four sets now. And I just am obsessed with really, really tall candles, and I do light them. Like, I love lighting tall candles to just to make a vibe at night. Like, usually when I sit down to watch, like, The Bachelor or, like, a show or something, I will light my stick candles, and it just, like, sets the tone for the night, and it, like, makes your house feel really cozy. So if you do buy stick candle holders, use them. Like, it really does make for a really, like, nice ambiance in your house. So I love those as well. How much were these, actually? $3.99 each. I feel like that's kind of expensive, but Goodwill, honestly, is not cheap. Like, Goodwill used to be cheap back in the day, but it's not cheap anymore. I mean, it's cheap, but it's not, like, cheap, cheap, you know? Like, there's thrift stores out there that are way cheaper than Goodwill, but... Anyways, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Mm -hmm.